Christine Gerrard, founding artistic director of Crescendo, and I'm very excited to talk to you about of some of our upcoming programs for this season. Music Across Borders is Crescendo's fall choral and orchestral concert, and we feature a repertoire of Renaissance and mostly Baroque music in juxtaposition with contemporary and modern music. And this program features composers that we normally do not associate with the Baroque times, such as Bach and Handel and Vivaldi, but we are focusing more on the, con the countries of, what would you call, Central or even Eastern Europe and the Baltics. It's the fact that these composers not only traveled and spent time in other countries, but also adopted styles from other countries. And so this went in both directions, east and west. So some of the composers on our program are actually German composers that spent some time or ended up working and living in the Baltics and Eastern Europe. So this is very exciting repertoire. It's repertoire that is rather rarely heard which is something that Crescendo does often. And what we also like, I personally like very much, is to hear early music performed on period instruments and performed with historically informed uh, performance practice and side to side with the voice of contemporary composers. They give ancient traditions, in this case most of this program is, is of sacred music, which has so much beautiful choral music. Uh, they give these subjects and texts their own voice. So that language that is well known now to lovers of choral music that know contemporary music, they will hear that echoed in the voice of the composers on our program. And uh, those are from the Czech Rep Republic, from Poland, and from Latvia. One of the main composers in this program, his name is Grzegor Gervasi Gordziki. And perhaps you've never heard this name before. On, on, uh, on our program, we have two of his larger works, they will bring into the concert what you associate with the most festive part of Baroque, the chorus, the string orchestra, the trumpets, and the timpani. So think Bach's Christmas oratorios, think really works with pomp and circumstance, but also with a lot of expressive melodious writing. And of course, the, the natural trumpets and the timpani give all of this a brilliance and a, an upbeat character that will be so familiar to everybody. So there's a parallel. It's not a surprise that Gorsitsky is called the Polish Handel. You all knew, know the Hallelujah Chorus, and that has a part that goes like so. <laughs> That's a typical part where the soprano voice lays down a note and then goes up and, and then the chorus responds underneath. Everybody has heard that. And actually, way before Handel wrote this, Gorsitsky wrote something like that in that completorium. So it goes like so. <laughs> So 
it's very recognizably sim similar to Handel. Kozitsky uh, wrote in the concertato style, the most modern of the styles in the Baroque times. So that is the style in which the orchestra, the chorus, and the soloists are in a true dialogue. The largest work that we perform in, in the upcoming program is called Completorium, and it's a text that is not very popular in terms of being set to music. It deals with a subject that you would think is very contemplative, because it, it talks, it's the prayer that monks would have prayed at the end of the day. In English it's called Compline. And so it actually is composed of a series of psalms uh, and readings and, uh, and some formula prayers. And you would not think that that would be a, a large work set to uh, a great orchestra and a chorus with soloists, but in the case of Gorzhiki it is. So this is the, the uh, it has seven movements, and as I say, it features the full cast. Uh, it's really a fantastic work. I'm very excited about us being able to perform that. We have a cast of uh, soloists coming from the East Coast and also internationally for the completorium piece. We have soprano Christina Kay countertenor Augustine Mercante from Philadelphia, uh, tenor Dan Foster from Troy, New York, and bass baritone Peter Becker from New York City. A special artist uh, on our cast, familiar to some of our audiences, is countertenor Nicolas Tamagna, who is coming from Germany, where he has been uh, residing for the last few years doing a career in Baroque opera. We're very fortunate to have Nicholas with us. He will sing a solo piece by Jan Dismas Zelenka from the Czech Rep Republic. I wanted to share with you um, a fact about one of the lesser known bar Baroque composers of our program. His name is Christoph Harant. He composed a work, a motet qui confidunt in domino for six voices. And when I choose the repertoire, I mostly do so first because I'm struck by the complexity, beauty, and flow of a piece. But then I read about the background uh, of, of this piece. And um, he relates an anecdote um, about the beauty of peaceful coexistence of different religions which is something we could use in these days. And I think it relates to this idea of music crossing borders, not only geographical borders. And lastly, I wanted to share with you um, something about the only piece in this program at the conclusion, which is not sacred, but is uh, a call to the universe by the poet Sarah Teasdale, which many of you might know. And her poem is called Stars, and it is set to choral music by the very now renowned and really at the forefront of choral composers of our times, Erik Esenwals from Latvia. This poem is set in a very slow motion to, uh, to a choir that's divided in eight voices. And this whole piece is accompanied by tuned water glasses and singing Tibetan bowls. They create a cluster of sounds that sometimes grows and then it ebbs off. And obviously that sound that you will hear in the background throughout the piece uh, symbolizes, in, in, I guess, in the mind of the composer, the sound of the universe. And it's a very, very charming sound, but it's beautifully composed. And we thought this could finally pull everything together that you've heard of the spiritual message uh, of music across borders in our concert. It's coming up soon, don't miss it.